Uh, hey guys, I am here doing a uh, layout update that has been pushed back for a uh, while now. And uh, right now I'm in my room. Uh, I'm going to show you some things. But first, um, I know it's been a month and like one day today uh, since I did a, my last layout update. And it's just because, you know, school started, football is in full swing, basketball is getting ready to start up. So this this first part of the year is usually when I'm busiest. So, um... That, that's really, that's what's going on right there. But even though I've been busy, I've been doing a lot of things uh, trans-related. Like, first of all, um, something that I'm not happy with is I bought this Mod Jack in Rotoclean. I, I had to order it from a hobby shop. And this is what it turned out like. I mean, not too bad. It, I built, built it in like two days because... Was it was pretty fairly easy to build. Right now you can tell that's messed up uh, because I was pretty mad with this thing. Um, I was painting it yellow and I ran out of yellow paint. Wow, see that's what I'm talking about. That just came out. I have no idea how. Yeah, so this thing's kind of screwed up. Um, I was painting it yellow and then I ran out of yellow paint and I was like, oh wow. And I yet ran out of yellow paint, so I was like. Um, okay, I got this orange testers model paint that I'll paint it, and it'll look, it looks a lot like this color, just brighter. So, and I, it looks like, it's like a BNSF orange color, so I was like, alright, that'll be fine. So I started coloring it, it came out alright, but, I mean, it really, I um, think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to, like, throw it away and have to buy another one. So that was kind of like $26 down the drain. Maybe I'll just have to order another one because this thing really has made me mad. I had so many problems with it, and uh, the uh, claw pieces right there they broke off because like the paint gummed them up so bad. They just I was trying to move them and they broke off like three of them, and then I did the other one. I just took off because it's pain in the butt. So um, I'm thinking maybe I'll take off the wheel sets and stuff and maybe put it behind uh, one of my engine houses or something. And it could be like a crane painted another color. And it could be like a crane to lift like engi like uh, engines or something. Uh, rolling stock pieces. Lar large um, heavyweight things. So off that, um, if you guys just want to tell me what you think, how I did on it. And if you really think I should maybe even use it. Um, and I also got a uh, new hobby knife. I have a ton of these, but... This one's looked pretty good, and it was a good price, too. In fact, I even have this whole old X-Acto knife set right here, back back here. And got, I mean, I got all these old knives and stuff for my dad. But, uh, and then I ended up picking up the, a um, airbrush. It's just a uh, Central Pneumatic airbrush kit. A, it's a uh, hobby airbrush kit. Or model airbrush kit. Um... It's, you know, it's for, for models and and uh, hobbies like model trains. And here, I mean, this is what it looks like, basically. And I uh, know model train 950, uh, 9500 um, bought one of these or something very similar. He bought it from Harbor Freight Tools, too, just like me. And um, cheap price. I got this, what, for 10 bucks. And um, I'm anxious to see how it uh, does because Model Train 9500, um, when he did it, it looked pretty good. Um, his All of his weathering looks good, so I'm sure this airbrush is going to do great, hopefully, and last for a while. And uh, so I can't wait. I'm, once I get to the hobby store, I'm going to buy some earth color um, paints and a dull coat for the airbrush, and I'll start weathering away. Um, and get good at that so that's that and then now we'll go on to the now we're going to go into the second part of the uh, layout update which will be down in the layout room alright so now we're going to uh, go to the layout portion of this update um, down here in the layout room um, since you last saw it I have laid all this cork and track right here um, all the cork to the grain elevator and um, and then I ran out of cork and track. Um, I still need four more turnouts. Uh, yeah, four more turnouts um, to 
finish this layout up and so a little bit more track and then I'll be done with all the track work and off to scenery or five more turnouts um, or, I don't know yet but um, I'm also going to have an 18 radius turnout coming off here I know Metro F40 PH163 uh, suggested that I have a um, like an um, empty empty track or something you know for empty cars and uh, I really wanted that too but I kept trying to figure out ways to um, get, get another track around here because this is how much track I had room I had which from here to here so and I didn't want to really buy a thirty dollar curve turnout so um, I just decided to add this little uh, extension right here it can just about it, it could fit two tracks if I wanted to but it, I'm probably only going to have it fit one and it's going to come off this uh, turn piece right here it's going to come straight and then just turn right on in here and go to about as far as this one does and it'll be able, uh, be able to hold probably like six cars like this one does or this one can hold seven and this one will probably be able to hold six when I'm finished with it uh, so I've been working um, over here on my grain elevator um, with some ideas now uh, over here I've been working on the engine house um, I just want to give you more of a better look at what the concrete looks like in here. I still need to get a concrete woodland scenics coloring and paint that up. Then I can start scenicing around there and clean some of the ends up. Uh, but other than that, it doesn't look too bad. Um, the next, the next ones I do though, shouldn't be as bad as uh, should be better than this one um, right here. So and. Uh, so did that and then so that's pretty much everything over here um, alright well you see that we got a train running right here and I think I'm just gonna go underneath my slide bridge cause I am I, I just don't feel like moving it <laughs> but um so then over here uh, the big thing about my last update was an extension and I added an extension um, it's a one foot extension out. Uh, this will be a transfer yard for Montana Rail Link. Um, if I explain it right, um, B this is a BNSF main line right here. And then um, in Montana Rail Link, they're, you know, they're kind of sharing it. And uh, anyways, BNSF is going to drop off all the uh, transfer cars um, to Montana Rail Link uh, that need to go on the MRL basically and um, they'll be here on this track right here and maybe even this track or this will probably just be a running around track right here and then this track is going to be uh, the transfer yard and it'll be able to hold probably um, I don't know like 18 cars or something I don't know just it'll be enough because I'm not it's I'm not going to be running some huge train around here because it's unrealistic and uh, so other than that, and so I did that, it's going to be two tracks, and then up here, it's going to come off to a, another turnout, and it's going to come right up here, and into this corner is going to be a uh, two-door engine house, but it's only going to have one door, and then the other side will just be for work, and there won't be an engine door or track. That's going to be my car shop, I, I kind of figured it out, and this will be the engine shop uh, where they work on all the engines and uh, locomotives. Um, so that's that. And then one of my favorite things, or what I've really been working hard on over here, is my scrap yard. Um, so it's turned out so far. I got some darker gray ballast coming up around there. I got the scrap yard off this uh, glued down and everything. Now I just need to get some scrap loads, but basically right there you see will be a road coming around. It's, gonna, it's not going to be a very good looking road because it's going to a scrapyard, so you know I, I don't I wouldn't see a newly paved road going into a scrapyard, I don't think. And then another thing I've been doing is working on uh, like chain link fences. Um, if you look at it from an angle. Um, we've got clump foliage, and then I've also got a chain link fence that I've been working on. This side right here has uh, flattened toothpicks, and this side right here has large nails. So, I don't exactly know um, which technique I'm going to use yet, either the nails or, the nails um, keep them in better, 
but um, I, I think the toothpicks look more realistic. So I don't know. But that's what I've been doing there. Tell me what you guys think. Been working hard on that. Got some telephone poles going around there. And eventually, once I get that uh, turnout, I'll have to rip up that track, cut some of that track, place the turnout there, and then that's when I'll um, put the paving, or uh, put the road over it. Um, so, and then, anyways, I'll just have a turnout coming out here. Um, it'll be splitting up again, and it'll go from, it's from this one, this track right here, all the way around to this track right here. So, um, other than that, I believe that is all for right now. Um, I think that pretty much sums up everything I've done in the layout. Um, I hopefully will soon make a um, trip to the hobby store, maybe um, order some stuff online or something. And uh, so I can start doing some more work because I'm running out of scenery stuff and I have no tracks. So other than that, um, I'm also going to be soon be getting some Walter scrap loads for my scrap yard. And then I also need to get um, some uh, paint, the um, uh, concrete color paint for the um, car shop and then the uh, asphalt color paint for the road to the scrapyard. So, um, that pretty much sums everything up. Hope you enjoyed it, and, um, we'll wait a little bit, and, uh, wait for a, uh, runaround. Okay.